<laughs> the fellow you just watched is my next guest, a phenomenal stand-up comic, which is ironic because he totally looks like the guy in the front row of the comedy club who won't tell the MC what he does for a living. Uh, his new special, The Worst Kind of Thoughtful, is now streaming on YouTube. The lovely and talented Mike Vecchione is in the house, hey, my you. man. Thank you for having me, Jimmy. Congrats on the worst kind Thank of thought. You, buddy. We all love it. Uh, I want the audience to understand what you did is kind of artsy and cool. Right. Yes. Uh, you had other people play you and right. voice the bits. I mean, I just feel like we're all kind of narcissists for uh -huh. doing our own comedy specials. Uh -huh. So <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm going to take this one off. And I just enlisted my friends, family, other great stand up comedians. You did. They did each track. So it, was, it started as an album and uh -huh. I adapted it to a special that's available on YouTube. Now. How much of this is art and how much of it is you not wanting to get in shape for a shoot? <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> that. That Rocky IV I'm soundtrack only takes you so far. <laughs> I'm an days. overeater. Jay. You know that. <laughs> right there the with Italians, you. The Italians are overeaters. I love this. Uh, let me get to know Mike Vecchione, the developing comedian, because I know the star comedian. Well, can I just say I'm wearing purple? I don't know if you guys acknowledge God on this podcast, but it's Easter weekend. It is a thing. It's yeah. a thing. We do have a purple. Yeah. I don't know if you guys acknowledge I went with this. It's, it's, it's oh, okay. Boring. I just I love that like you green. called his, his show a podcast. Just yeah, now. no, you did. It's, it's, it's Listen, we're all just rolling no. with it. We're having a good time. I mean, the way I'm dressed, it might be. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going by numbers. Uh, so thank you for coming on the Coming Out show. <laughs> I'm your host, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> thank you for coming out to Coming Out. I love it. Uh, who was your favorite comic as a kid? We've never had this discussion for all the times we worked I'll together. I'll tell you what. I was a big... Um, Richard Jenny. Yeah, you were. Uh, Dom Irera. There you go. Uh, I love those. I just did uh, Dom's podcast. Oh, is that actually. true? Yeah. He's it's really unreal. He's really funny. Yeah. And it never backs. Like, very, he, very funny. You know what's funny? Because he's so Italian and over the top. Yeah. What he reminds me of yeah. is I loved Kevin Meany. Yes. Remember Kevin Meany? Yeah. And he'd close up. Big we pants, the, people. I want big pants, yeah. people. God Kennedy. rest his soul. Rest yes. his peace. But he was, I got to know him. Too. You know, you knew him. I knew him. Phenomenal. Phenomenal guy. Yep, there he goes. Uh, what was the movie? Was there a movie as a little kid? That, that was debauched and made you start to inch towards comedy. Mine, for instance, was Slapshot because it was so dirty. Uh, wow. Uh, it was when I was older. I thought I think Groundhog Day is one of the best movies. Bill Murray? I was older, yeah. Okay. It's unreal. It's just every scene is yeah. fantastic. Well, can I ask the panel this and, and certainly contribute as well? No, no panel. <laughs> my time. This is it's my, my time. time. <laughs> this is my time. Up there, that's their time. We're Goonies. <laughs> Down here, we're Goonies. This is I our like time. That. Way to reclaim the floor. Yes. But I, I do consider really quickly the best Bill Murray to be Kingpin. I love Groundhog yes. Day, but Bigger and McCracken is a national treasure. Right. Is he not in Kingpin? I, I agree sorry. because there's no redeemable quality to him by the end of the movie. Oh, it's so good. He's awful the Even whole the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. The whole time he's the same and the awful reason that, person. The reason that movie has so much resonance for me mm. is because I look like Roy Munson, but I dress like Big Ern McCracken. <laughs> I'm like a kingpin tie-up. All right, give me this. Um, you got engaged. Yes. That's a thing. I did. When was this, was this recent? It was oh. recent. It was a couple weeks. A couple weeks old. Thank you for I'm, clapping for love, guys. I'm sorry. It still exists. <laughs> Still exists. Loves loves the uh, thing. Yeah, I did it uh, in Aruba. Our okay. good friend, shout out Aruba Ray. Oh, Aruba, Aruba get out of here! Club in Aruba, Aruba it's Ray fantastic. Allen. Work it all the time, and uh, set it up to do it on the beach. I flew my mother and sister down. Did it in front of them. Very Italian. <laughs> and uh, but uh, no, she said yes. Fortunately, uh -huh. and uh, we're off. That is funny. Like an Italian wedding proposal. You're yeah. like, will you cover these couches with plastic? <laughs> <laughs> will you be the plastic on my couch for the rest of our life? You know what else I love about an Aruba proposal? Because two, three things yeah. happen in Aruba that you know is true. Right. You get the beach proposal, the beach wedding, right. but also the people on cruise ships who throw each other overboard yeah. for like 20 years. <laughs> that's a great one. You can get like the all-in-one. The okay. prostitutes start crying. Yeah, that's, whole, that's yeah. a whole to-do. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what you're doing to them. We're more traditional, <laughs> McBee, here on the white side of the aisle. Um, but I like the Florida uh, versus fake versus Florida because I think the wedding is going to be in Florida. Is that what you're going yeah. with? Yeah. Is there a specific town? Um, I graduated uh, from high school in Boca Raton. Boca you did? Raton Community High School. I did not know that. Yeah. I um, went to, um, I was just down a there. school, yeah. probably. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Last thing. I have been pitching comics on the idea of settling the election with a roast battle. If you're a Republican, you line up and write the jokes for, for the Trumpster. If you're a Democrat, write them for Biden. If you're an independent, maybe write them for RFK Jr. Yeah. Okay. Do you think we could save the country a lot of time and maybe make the election enjoyable if we just did that? I think that that's what it's come down to. I it's think it just burns it's one that, way or another. It's that anyway? Yes, it's no, that anyway. I just, think if the guy just says nothing, smokes a cigarette through the question, and then just puts it out on his hand and then just walks away, <laughs> he wins. Whoever does that wins. Mike Vecchione is voting for Dice, by the way. Just so <laughs> <laughs> clear. Oh, and the thing you said you were a Domerera guy. Dice all the way. Ah, uh, thank you. Everybody needs to check out the worst kind of thought. 
thoughtful. It is outstanding. Thank you to Mike, Dave, the K-Train, Charles McBee. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.